What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with another review. This time, we're gonna be looking at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. I'm gonna give you my first impressions, tell you what I think about it. Let's check it out. So first off, we gotta get this thing unboxed. I've been waiting on this uh, for about a week. It took me a little while to get the color that I wanted. I was actually able to get the cloud blue. Uh, they also come in mountain gray and rose blush. Now it's a very minimalistic packaging as Samsung is kind of known for at this point in the game. Um, I'm just gonna take this off and reveal that tablet back behind there. So I'm already putting fingerprints on it, but nice 10.5 super AMOLED display. So not just that regular AMOLED, we got a super AMOLED display on here. Uh, screen almost runs edge to edge, very small on the bezels. Uh, camera is on the back. We're gonna not go ahead and knock out the real estate first. So you got a um, two cameras on the back. One is a 13 megapixel shooter. The other one is a five megapixel wide angle lens. This is where your S Pen is gonna be held right here. You got your Samsung logo. Speakers are tuned by AKG. Uh, this comes with a 855 Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Has either comes with six gigs or eight gigs of RAM, depending on which version that you get. I opted for the 128 gigabyte. It comes in 128 or 256. Also, you can put a micro SD card in here. Micro SD card slot is right here on the side. Uh, it goes up to one terabyte. Like I mentioned, 10.5 Super AMOLED display has a 7,040 milliamp hour battery. Should get a full day on this out of your battery. Uh, eight megapixel front facing camera up here. 2D face unlock, has an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner under the screen. Uh, USB type C charging is on deck. We have no headphone jack on here anywhere, guys. You have dual speakers up top as well as down bottom. Then on the side, you get your volume rocker and your dedicated Bigsby button, which can be remapped. And then that's pretty much it, guys. So now let's talk about what's in the actual box itself. So S Pen, number one. Uh, thing you're looking for with this is S Pen, and we got it right here. You get your regular Samsung packaging with your information. You get a SIM tool right there. Here, USB type C adapter right there. We'll leave that in the box. I got plenty of those laying around and you get an adaptive fast charger right here. I also leave this in the box because we got tons of way to charge these tablets up. Um, there also should be, there we go, a little kit to get your S Pen tip out in case it breaks, anything happens to it. Like I said, all this stays in the box. Um, put all this to the side. Slide this over. I'm gonna get this turned on. Turn it on up here. I'm gonna get this turned on and we will be back. So now that I actually have this tablet open, got my information dropped in, let's talk about what it looks like. So very nice screen on here, very vivid, very bright. Uh, S Pen is gonna be held on the back back here. Actual S Pen, I love the S Pen, but the fact that it's gonna hang right there on the back, I feel like I need more protection than that. The magnet doesn't seem to be as strong, but it is, I mean, it's pretty decent, but it just doesn't seem to be as strong. And I also went to pick up the tablet and pull the pen off a couple of times already. We notice we get the little charging right here. S Pen charges really fast, guys. Went from 10% to 100% in a matter of minutes. No issues with that. Just the ability to put it back here and it's gonna sit, that scares me just a little bit. Um, actually, and when you're actually trying to put this up, you kinda gotta feel for the, there we go, got it in there. So everything's gonna match up with that, but I'm worried that that may come off and I may lose it. Form factor on this is pretty good. It's really slim, comes in right under a pound and a half, I think, maybe two pounds. It's not that heavy at all. Uh, very easy to use and very easy to hold in your hand. If you're gonna be doing videos, um, you're gonna be doing movies, you're gonna be doing a lot of entertainment, heavy media, it's not gonna be hard to hold. You got your landscape mode and you got a portrait mode that you can use it in. 
You can even put it on a stand, have it there with no issues whatsoever. As far as your screen ratio, your graphics for your gaming are gonna be on point. So I got a game right here and I normally use this game um, when I am trying to show off how a screen works. So uh, we're just gonna do the touch screen version right now. I'm gonna come with some accessories later on that are gonna help you to use this uh, more efficiently. So I'm just gonna turn this on and just show you some of the graphics of how it works. Um, now this game is Asphalt 9. Very good graphics, it's a nice little racing game and it'll test the functionality of the screen and the actual graphics and kind of push it towards that limit. So right away you can see that you got nice vivid colors with that Super AMOLED display. Everything is looking good. Touch is very responsive on the screen. Okay. Got to follow these on-screen prompts for the first couple of times. I'm, I'm holding. I'm holding. There we go. Hold to drift. All right. I'm going to drift. And we're going to use nitro. So like I said, touch is really responsive. I'm having no issues with this at this time. Everything feels really good in my hand. Um, the tablet is not heavy. It's very comfortable to hold. And graphics look really good on this. Now I've already customized my screen and everything. So I'm gonna swipe from right here. Swipe there to go back home. Turn this back up and there we go. So we know that we have this uh, 7,000 milliamp hour battery on here. You should have all day battery life with this screen. Like I said, really responsive. And these are the things that the average consumer want to know. Now I've given you the full spec list, but the average consumer wants to know, is this tablet going to be worth it? And I say, yes, coming in at 649 bucks, it's a great buy. It's going to be something that you'll be able to keep and it's going to get the latest updates. So you don't have to worry about going out of style with this one. Number two, is the screen a good screen? Is it a bright screen? Is it a clear screen? Samsung makes some of the most vivid, some of the best screens out there. So you don't have to worry about the screen brightness. What about the battery? Well, battery, we already mentioned 7,000 milliamp hour. It's gonna give you an all day battery on this tablet right here. And you also have a power mode. When you swipe down, you can go into power mode and you can actually optimize this and save more power depending on what you have going on throughout your day. And then the actual just functionality and the form factor. It's a nice device um, with the aluminum backing, the S Pen, uh, you got tons of features, you got nice camera setups, you got USB type C charging, that's what everything is going to. And we can't forget about Dex. Now I'm not going to go through every feature, every function today. I just want to give you my first impressions. Go through that and we'll talk about that in a little more detail. But I wanted to give you my first impressions and my first look at this tablet. So price wise, yes, it's a great price on this device. You can go out and get one for about 650 bucks. The screen, Great screen quality. That's what everybody wants to know. Is my screen gonna look good? Am I gonna be able to do what I need to do? Is the screen responsive? So we tested a game. I'm gonna come back later on. We're gonna test some typing, do some things like that. And the battery. Battery is gonna get you all day usage on this device. Plus you have the S Pen that hides on the back right now, connects through a magnet. And the functionality and form factor is slim, it's sleek. The screen almost goes edge to edge barely any bezels like a fourth of an inch of bezel it's it's a great setup on a tablet so it checks all the boxes for right now first impressions remember but i'm going to do some really in detail things coming up soon so stay tuned for that if you have anything that you want me to explore leave a comment below i'll check it out i'll mention it in the next video if i don't get to the next one i will mention it in a video so don't worry so as of right now, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 is gonna be a pretty decent buy from what I can see as of now. Like I said, we're gonna come back with more tests. We're gonna do some accessory reviews and things like that and some comparisons. So iPad, better watch out. Samsung is coming for you. <laughs> Until next time, hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Please be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.